for like three hours straight. Man, that's three sick. hours straight? Three hours straight. That's sick. Hmm. They do a... It's like the one one lap that they do. Tell the camera. They go all the way down, they fill up, and they come back. <laughs> huh. So what's in this? In LS it's an LSX. LSX. The one Chevrolet built for boost. Okay. Oh, for boost? Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's guaranteed for 15 pounds of boost. Really? Okay. <laughs> so sick. Yeah, this is Love it. awesome. Look at the turbo. Yeah. God, that's huge. I love this right here. This is heat water out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've never seen anything like this. Drive sump systems, imagine. Like, look at those springs right there. Yeah, super sick. Graziano is from a, it's the same one that comes in a Lamborghini Gallardo. Okay. No way, I don't know. Oh. out of a Lamborghini, it's a hot new. Yeah. Brandon, what do you think? Oh, very cool. Yeah. Very, very cool. Any LS race car is top 10 in my right? book. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I, I was saying I've never seen anything like this. So. Especially that it's a tur turbo LS. Yeah, you don't I, see that. Yeah, no. I bet this thing on the track is amazing. A little rainy vibe going yeah, on. Right. Like it's, it's Look at the rainy. dash. It's had some lots of fun. Look at the dash in there. It's like a spaceship. It's like, it's like a Lotus or something. Right. So what is the body style on it? So it's a super light coupe. It's from uh, race car replicas in Detroit. Detroit, okay. And uh, so they, you know, they sell you the chassis and the body. Yeah. And then you build what car you want out of it. I see. Okay. So most of them are street cars. Yeah. There's at least half a dozen in the Metroplex. Really? Okay. Yeah. That's very cool. But, so uh, you're one of the few, or are you based out of Dallas? BFW? Yeah. Area? You put it all together, I'm assuming? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's just the seventh motor. Seventh? Oh. Seventh, yeah. Three LSs. It yeah. took three LSs? And four Toyotas. Oh, well, what kind of, I heard you saying Toyota earlier. What kind of Toyota engine? It's a uh, um, four liter from the Lexus. The one oh, okay. Is it one UZ or two? Yeah. Okay. One UZ. Well, two One UZ. Yeah, the one UZ. Oh, yeah, yeah it's a great engine. 1.0, yeah. one UZ. I'm sh are these reliable, more reliable? Um, I know those are really reliable engines, okay, but they just so can't take a lot of power, right? I went to the Toyotas because I'd blown a couple of LSs and I wanted to change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then after blowing enough Toyotas, I wanted to change. <laughs> right. <laughs> My big issue with the Toyotas is there was no room to work on the engine. Uh -huh. Because with the valve frame up top like that, yeah. it took all that space between the frame and the valve covers. Mm -hmm. And there was no room in front of the engine to even do yeah. the timing and that kind of stuff. Yeah. It was just, it was a nightmare. Yeah. This motor is actually slid forward two inches. The transmission's two inches farther forward than it was when the Toyota was in. Wow, okay. So even though the Toyota was in theory smaller. Yeah. 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 It's a sequential? Yeah. Sequential? Sequential uh, gearbox? No. No? No, it's just six feet. Oh, no, it's out of a, basically the same exact water. transmission out of the yard. Oh. Check out that rig behind you. <laughs> yeah. This thing's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freaking awesome. wheels. At my old job, this is what... Uh, what is this? A Mercedes? No, it's oh. an international, I think. Ooh, okay. Or Peterbilt. Oh, it's a Peterbilt? Hey, Jack. Yeah. He's looking for his driver. Me? Yeah. Me? Yeah. He said, where's my driver? Really? <laughs> yeah. Get in there, bro. <laughs> Isn't your job awesome? It's alright. You know, yeah. Okay. Okay. Get in that thing. <laughs> Is it wet, man? Hey, gotta have the phone holder, right? Jack, you want a helmet? I have one in my office. Probably Chris. <laughs> They don't make me wear it anymore, but I used to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> he outgrew the helmet. <laughs> Hey, good work, Jack. Uh, right in front of the seat. Look down. Yeah, the sisters. Independent rear suspension on here. Technically, you can cut the back half of most of the cars and make something this complicated. Yeah. But uh, yeah, <laughs> most people just do it for race cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this guy's raced with this car. Uh, he's gone through, like you said, three Toyota engines, two LS engines. Yeah. He's been doing it for, I want to say like five, six years now, maybe uh -huh. even longer, but he's never finished a race, all right? Yeah. So he came here the first time, I don't know, maybe six months ago for us to tune it. Yeah. And he finished the race that year. Oh, wow. Yeah, so pretty cool. So first time he just came in for a tune? Yes, first time we just came in for a tune. I think something broke. I think like valve spring or not valve springs. Oh yeah, valve springs or the rock arm. Something in the top of it started making noise. Yeah, broke and whatnot. Yeah. Um, they took it. Nick kind of did this little like it's probably this kind of mm -hmm. tune. Mm -hmm. They took it, fixed it, did the race, and they finished. Nice. And now it's back for the official, actual tune. The real tune. The real tune. So is this the same engine? That we tuned yes. on? Yes. Okay. This is the same engine that it was tuned on. Um, so he hasn't blown it up since. <laughs> he hasn't blown it up since. That's right. Not yet. Not, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Until we add more boost. Yeah. <laughs> and the gaskets keep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, that shit's. So for context, he knew about that issue. He, yeah, yeah, he knew about it. He even brought it, his own gaskets. Because he knew it would yeah, happen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so. So we were like, hey, gas is blue. It's like, all right, cool. Go ahead and put them in. Right. When he already brought them. Yeah, like, yeah. He, he knew. So it's nothing we did. Nothing we did, no. 
Let me see. Golly. Hang oh, on. And it's a little wet too. Damn, man. That's a big ass gap for a turbo car. Yeah. Well, he said these are the same plugs that came in it as a crate motor when they put it in. Yeah, these are the factory fucking AC Delcos. And it's done how many runs down the yeah. mile? Going 200 miles an hour? Yeah, yeah, going 200 miles an hour. And the Big Ben open. Has it replaced them since? No, no they, they, they're basically the ones that came in it. Jesus. Oh, it's going to be why, night and day different. That's why I plugs. came here. Okay. That's why I came here. Figure out. Get that wicked, uh, wicked sauce. That wicked spark plug. Okay, well. <laughs> so one says 1200, 167. One says 1200, 149. One says 1200, 173. Mark that. Mark that cylinder. I did. I did. I did. Is that why it's doing That's flanks. why it's shooting flanks. It's doping gas. Yeah. Well, that's what we think is this first injector stuck open. Oh. That's why the gasket mm. is blue. No, no, no. It blew out on that side. Oh. But we think this injector is stuck open because while it was running at, at operating temperature, there was a 200 degree difference between that cylinder and the other three. So these three up here were like at 400, 450. This one was like 200, 280. Whoa. So. It's like 500 degrees or more. God. What? Jesus, that's horrible. So, what's up with the gasket situation? Just, it's fine. They just use really, it's what they call fiber mesh yeah. gaskets. That's what like trucks come with is stock. Yeah. But you put the multi-layer steel gaskets. You don't use the fiber mesh on a turbo application because of back pressure and everything like that. Yeah. It's too you soft. have to. You, yeah, it's too soft and you can blow it out like it did. Yeah. Especially under a hard backfire like that yeah you know blow out gaskets and all kinds of shit but especially on a turbo application you want to use a multi-layer steel gasket yeah. so it's just gonna work better so that's actually what we put in yesterday okay cool there's on this one good I don't know we're gonna test this one because this is the one that's got the big cylinder difference so we're gonna see if it's just stuck open yeah. because that's the thing about it is fuel does add a cooling effect so if it's just dumping all that extra raw fuel, of course it's going to cool everything down. Hmm. Is this running on pump gas? Or uh, I think this is running on 93, right? It is he? Oh, okay. Okay. So, but yeah, I'm going to go in there and uh, get this on the machine, get it wired up, and then we're going to flow test it. was not working mm -hmm. um, it's got EGTs on it so I just thought one of the sensors was bad but he said they're all good mm -hmm. uh, so we pulled the plug the plug looked not used yeah um, so <clears throat> it wasn't fire so we went to the injectors cleaned the injectors and we took the injectors off to clean and flow them mm -hmm. um, notice that the the wire was pulled out of mm -hmm. the actual injector, yeah, so it's yeah. been running with seven cylinders basically for quite a while. Yeah. So when you tune it, everything's based on volumetric efficiency. Okay. So with one injector missing, the yeah. whole table is yeah. Is so you're like off. resetting the whole table. So I gotta kind of start from scratch ish. Okay. And uh, kind of work my way back up, but okay. it should make uh, I don't know. 15% more power oh, shit. or so. It's so like it should be well worth it. 500 ish? Yeah. yeah, it should make that very yeah. easy now. Cool. For what racing he does, he needs it like fat, low timing. Yeah. Yeah. Fat cool. too. Yeah, it's like, that's it. <laughs> that's all you got. Right? 
That's at 56. He wants to rev it to 65. He wants to take it all the way to 65? Well, I mean, the potential. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is just those valve covers, though, right? God damn. No, like 200 it's not horsepower. Clock, though, is it? Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a GM crate. Yeah, LSX. LSX 376. Well, probably straight out of the GM performance catalog. The handle? The V block's like 9 to 1. Handle the power he needs. Oh, yeah. Hotness. Dude, that's like 200 horsepower over what it came yeah. in with. That's why I'm talking like, how far you want to go? Yeah, <laughs> we're ready now. All right, Nick, what did we just do? Uh, we just got done with Frank's uh, Superlight. Um, it's been in here before. Uh, we had, I think, four pound springs in it. Um, dynoed it. He wasn't really concerned about power. He just wanted it to run well. He's completed multiple races as it was. Um, I told him it'd be beneficial to add EGTs to it. Uh, so he went, went ahead and did that um, so we could really fine tune it. He does a lot of long, um, long courses, road courses, Texas mile, things like that. Um, so we kind of need things. So we make sure it's running perfectly. Um, so as soon as we put it on the dyno, we kind of knew something was up. He wanted to up the boost, put a little bit of E in it. Um, one of the holes was down. Um, we ended up diagnosing it and uh, fixing the injector harness so where it's up the cylinder. Um, came in, was making around 400. It's making around 675 now. Um, still, you know, not all the boost or anything. It's right around 11, 12 pounds. Um, so we're going to give it back to him. I think he's going to hit up the Texas mile this month. Um, yeah, I asked him if he wanted to turn it up all the way. He said no, because, uh, you know, adding 200 horse to this thing is, is quite a rocket. So uh, we're going to give it back to him, see how he does the Texas mile, and hopefully he'll turn it up more. Yep. And then the gaskets. He knew uh, about yeah. the gaskets. Yeah, he dropped it off with some extra gaskets. I kind of, you know, scratched my head like, OK, you know, whatever. Uh, he said he blew one out when he was trying the two-step. Um, so didn't think anything of it, uh, put like 20% duty cycle in it. Sure enough, it blew the gaskets out. So we put some MLS, uh, metal gaskets in it. It was fine up to 13, 14 pounds. So remedied that. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you go Australian, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what this we get about? <laughs> wow, that thing's crazy. Things crazy. <laughs> there you go.